This is the Riot Podcast of Podcasts. It is. It's the one. Yeah, this is the one where we become a James Bond podcast. <laughs> We've decided to change our format just a little bit. Yep. Uh, you might notice it. You might not. Yeah, Radio U is now going to be all <laughs> Bond theme songs and alternate Bond, the- Bond mm-hmm. theme songs and end songs. We're actually not, but we do cover more Bond news in this. Again. Again. But two days, two Bonds. That's it, though. It comes in waves. And it so does. this seems to be the Bond news, but I haven't heard any more, so I'm sure we'll be good after this. Okay. Oh, uh, We also talk about The Grand Tour, the video game, Olive Garden's Pasta Pass, uh, being a little too good-looking, uh, <laughs> Real Batman, Time and Money, Veronica Mars, Netflix and Apple, Negative Nikki makes an appearance. Oh, that's a shame. Fraternity leave, G.I. Joe. All the good stuff. Sounds like there's plenty here. <laughs> Make sure you join us at Radio U Riot on YouTube. It's been great seeing a lot of new subscribers there. In case you miss anything we do in the studio, including interviews, our Worst of Riot, uh, our food fights, uh, even our Worst of Riot, you can access there. And then, of course, Radio U Riot on Facebook, too. All right. So, anybody? Have a good day. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. You can do it today. You can do it. Woo! Bye. Once again, there just wasn't enough material for best of the riot. Actually, there wasn't any best of the riot at all. None. Zero. Look, it's all bad. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not bad. It's the worst. Radio U. This is kind of a weird one because I don't know who is going to care about it. I actually have one friend that I know is going to be intensely excited about <laughs> so it. So this is for you. <laughs> well, but here's what I found out. There is, do you know Norm McDonald is? The comedian guy? The comedian. Yeah. Yeah. He's not, but he's not super well known. No, right? but I used to watch classic SNL. Yeah. Like the yeah. old stuff before you were around yeah um and so i remember i think that was when i had this fascination with chris farley and, yeah, and he, early they were adam same sandler time yeah and so i remember him from that so he he did he used to be on saturday night live he did a couple of movies and it seems like he's disappeared but what i had I, i've got a friend of mine who was telling me about him like he's obsessed with norm mcdonald like does he still the, do stuff he has a youtube talk show i guess and like he has just tons of guests like very high profile guests that's the other thing too is that he's this kind of guy who i guess is like rubbed elbows with a lot of different people and so like he'll have a lot of people on his show but uh we were talking about the idea of like man it's kind of a bummer like here's this kind of high profile guy but he never quite seems to like break through Mm -hmm. but netflix announced yesterday that they're bringing his talk show to netflix hey congratulations to him yeah so that's interesting and he they went ahead and released their cast list or i mean his guest list it's so gonna sorry be, it will be like a sit down talk show like he's been doing on youtube think about yes so think about like how david letterman has a talk show and it but it's just a like it's an interview segment really um he's gonna have lauren michaels that's the guy that created saturday night live michael keaton uh m night Shyamalan. Shamalama, uh, <laughs> David Spade, Judge Judy. Hey, I want to see that. That'd be fascinating. Uh, David Letterman, Drew Barrymore, Chevy Chase, Jane Fonda. These are so, interesting. Uh, they they are kind of interesting. It's just like they seem like an odd assortment of guests, but they do um, seem like all friends, though. Mm-hmm. Or someone, and somehow they know him. <laughs> but then uh, Netflix canceled. Uh, two of their talk shows last week, they had uh, Michelle Wolf and Joel McHale both had, were they their talk shows? shows? So they're like shows. Yeah, no, they were kind of just talk shows. And uh, they just pulled that up. And I guess they didn't renew Chelsea Handler. So uh, they're looking to fill that void. Yeah, I wonder how it does for them. They put a lot in the Chelsea Handler one, but then it was it it had been like, here's uh, a lot of days during the week, and then they scaled it back. You're like, well, you'll get a new episode every so often. Every but once in a while. I don't know if people are ready to continually check in on a like a daily basis for a daily talk show on Netflix quite yet. Yeah, at least not I, for them. Theoretically, I should have loved the Joel McHale show, but I never even watched it. Dang it! I'm only there to if I'm ready to binge watch. Usually, a show again, not not every day. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, that's but, like having pressure from broadcast television. I can't, I can't have that kind of pressure. <laughs> well, congratulations to Norm Macdonald, though. So yeah. that will be ten episodes. This is not like David Letterman's one, um, where they come monthly. Yeah, this is or happening weekly. all at once. Yeah, they all drop ten episodes at once on September fourteenth. All right. Well, again, if you remember Norm Macdonald, which like I, I have friends. They, they YouTube. They on the YouTubes. 
with the tubes. <laughs> There's one person who will watch it. The riot's future. Two words. Goat farm. <laughs> Radio U. Nikki and I had an unspoken goal when we started the riot, and that was that we would be able to turn the riot into a daily, multi hour show and podcast that was just about James Bond news. Did we have that? That was our, I said it was an unstated goal. Oh, so maybe. Like that silent goal that we just hope to work towards. Maybe it was just my personal goal, but I want you to know that. Uh, wasn't there a James Bond podcast you listen to every so often? Oh, there is, actually. There is? It's called James Bonding. Yeah. And it's these two guys that they have a guest. And it's like every other week. And they watch an old James Bond movie. And then they just talk, talk about, about it. about it. And so I went back through the, the entire Bond catalog with them. That was fun, actually. Because normally when I watch a movie, nobody watches it with me. And nobody wants to talk about it. Now, they weren't really there, but I know. kind of in podcast I know. form. I know, but it was fun. So, uh, Nikki, you and I are going to be starting our James Bond. No, but we have had two days in a row of where James we've had Bond, Bond stuff. Uh, yesterday, Aston Martin announced the fact that they are releasing 25 James Bond, uh, Aston Martin DB5, I believe it is. The classic Bond car from 60s James Bond. $3.5 million each. They're making like 25 And they're not street legal. So you are literally, you know how now sometimes you buy like, okay, maybe you don't, but I do. You're like, this is my Starship Enterprise toy. And I put it. <laughs> this is the play one and the one that stays sign. in the box. Yeah. And so I, I have it like sitting on one of my speakers yeah. in my room. So there's that. And this is for people that are like, this is my toy James Bond car. And you can drive it around in the parking lot. Because, you know, it was over $3 million. Okay, but here's the other piece of news. I, I was actually looking forward to They were making Bond 25, mm-hmm. new James Bond movie. So they had a script, an idea, everything. And at what seemed to be the last minute, they threw it out. Because Danny Boyle, who is the train spotting guy, and I don't remember what other movies he's made. Like, he basically called the producers and was like, hey, I have an idea. I even have a script. I want to make this James Bond movie. And they they took what they had and they were like, (laughs) bye-bye, going with that. And they announced that he was going to be the guy. Uh Uh-huh. But But not anymore. mm -hmm. Because it's what they call creative differences. Yeah. That'll get you. So they just announced yesterday he is not going to be directing Bond 25, which was, And the one guy is not who's been rumored to be, because Daniel Craig's doing the current one that they're filming. That Mm -hmm. one's being worked on. But then he's done, and it was the, it's the Iris. It's Idris Elba. Idris Elba. He's the guy from... He's in all kinds of stuff, man. But to me, I always think of him as the Pacific Rim guy who's like, we're canceling the apocalypse. That guy uh, had been in talks of potentially being the next James Bond. And a lot of people were very interested in that. But at least unless they're still negotiating, he said, no, he's not going to. Yeah, he says he's not going to do it. So, But that just means that he didn't get the part or something. Could be. Or again, they're still negotiating. And suddenly like, well, we worked out our creative differences and everybody's happy again. Yeah, I don't know. But according to this, like that, that, like that's big movie news if you care, which I kind of do. Well, they do now because it's our Riot James Bond podcast. It's our new James Bond podcast. We we put out. (laughs) It's three hours a day. Get ready. Of nothing but Bond talk. Oh my gosh. With so all the great. cliche James Bond things. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so we'll have Chris, who is our engineer, come by. He'll be Q and he'll introduce a new gadget to us every day. That's our review segment. Fantastic. And then we'll have, I'll say a bunch of very inappropriate things to Nikki. <laughs> So I mean, we can feel like, you know, the old James Bond stuff. Yeah, and then Nikki can explain to me why those sorts of comments are not appropriate and that even though you might see those on screen from 50 years ago not in the right modern now. era, mm-hmm. it wasn't okay then and it's not okay now. <laughs> Cleveland celebrates failure with a parade. We celebrate failure with the worst of the riots. Oh, it's that time again, everybody. It's time for the Olive Garden to bust out the never-ending <laughs> pasta, pasta pass. pass. I feel like, though, we never hear about it until, like, we're... It's already had its rush of people. So, like, is it just... Is it for sale now? Are they just telling us? Is this a reminder? No, it's a reminder. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow, is it? <laughs> tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. So, that's 11 a.m. Pacific. There will be 1,000 of these pasta passes that will go on sale. 
They are $300, and they are good from September 24th, 2018 through September 22nd, 2019. And you can bring it to Olive Garden every day. During that window. And you get unlimited helpings of the never-ending pasta bowl. That would include pastas. Oh, this includes pasta, sauces, toppings, soup, salad, and breadsticks. Now, do you think by toppings, will they meet? Does that they mean, mean meat? meatball? I think meatballs. I don't know because, you know. I see when, it in the picture. That means nothing. It does. It has to mean something. It, you know what? It doesn't you don't have to mean anything. You just lie about meatballs, Ob. See, no, because if we went to court, I would be like, you'll notice that the spaghetti with meatballs is out of focus in the photo. <laughs> That's because it was just crashing the photo. It's no big deal. No, it, it says pasta, sauces, toppings. That's a topping. A soup, salad, and breadsticks. What else would a topping be? Topping. Well, you could, with the argument you're making, you're like, yeah, a topping is French fries and a grilled cheese. A little cheese steak. Put it on there. Put everything on top. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, a pie, it's a topping. <laughs> Anything I put on this is a topping. So they so, only big. If you cannot score one of the annual passes, there's also 23,000 pasta passes that go on sale at the same time that are $100. And they have the same uh, same pasta perks as the other uh-huh. one. But that's only good through November 18th of this year. That, so you could try to get the year one or you can get the one through the end of November. That would straight up be an awesome gift. Just yeah, like you here. could find that for somebody. There, like, there's two months of Olive Garden. There you go. Knock yourself out. I would... I don't know if I'd go every day, but for at least a couple of weeks, I would be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> they shall know us by how much weight we shall gain. <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, true. You could uh, live it up on the salad. We could do it right. And, you could. You know, like, do you think, would you have to gain weight if you had oh, angel you... hair pasta oh, with every Alfredo. day with Alfredo? And or breadsticks they... to dip in the Alfredo. Come on. Is that a topping? Can I get some of that? I feel like it. I'd gain weight. I'm, I maybe, maybe, but you know what? Maybe you get to that point where you're just like, oh, and I, I just don't eat much for dinner, and <laughs> so it's fine. I only eat this. You could, you could totally do that. That's your one meal for the whole day. Yeah. What's that uh, intermittent thing where you're like, yeah, you eat for an hour. Mm-hmm. See, boom, done. Just eat for an hour and just try to get a lot of meatballs. There you go. That'd be even better. Hmm. No, All thanks. right, well, that's tomorrow if anybody's going to try for it. Let us know if you get one of either the year-long passes or the one through November 18th. Oh, so tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern mm-hmm. is when that happens. So good luck, everybody. Remember, if you want to get a year-long pasta pass and give it to your second favorite radio host. <laughs> How does Nikki put up with Obadiah day after day? It's easy. We pay her. Radio U. A lot of things have come into very sharp focus this morning for me, Uh, and all because of a study done at the University of Western Australia. It explains a lot of what I experienced in both junior high and high school. Really? Uh, Yeah. And what they did was they they asked women, you know, like, hey, what are things that you find attractive about a man? And looks, cleverness, kindness, and easygoing. Like, those were things that the were whatever. Ones. Mm-hmm. But cleverness is another way, I guess, they rated intelligence. So we can say intelligence there. So here's what they found is that women found men more attractive the closer their looks got to and their intelligence got to the 90th percentile. But then there was a really ugly backlash when we got into the 99th percentile. So if you were too smart, and or too uh, good looking. It could backfire on you a bit. It would backfire on you, which, again, explains a lot about what I experienced <laughs> in junior high and high school. Are you saying you were too clever and too attractive and it backfired on you? I noticed you put clever first before attractive, <laughs> but I, and I see what you did there. But, yeah, I think yeah. so. I, knew, I think you were just too nice. You're just uh, a really good guy, and oh, sometimes people can walk all over that. Nikki, they also said the same thing about kindness. Oh, that, did they? Uh, <laughs> they wanted you to be kind, but, like, not too kind. Yeah, see, that's I think, was legitimately probably your, your problem. You were just too kind. <laughs> Here's what I love. Men didn't feel that way. Men were like, yeah, 99th percentile, baby. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm with that. It's fine. Whatever. Wait, if they felt they were that good or if they felt no, the girl the, was that the good? The other way for women, uh, like sure. rating women, they're like, would you want to, to date a girl that was in the 99th percentile of attractiveness or intelligence? Sure. And I know a lot of people are like, men just want dumb, beautiful women. <laughs> and men answered no. Like, they were willing to go with most intelligent, most attractive. 
whatever. Till they got around her and she started talking. <laughs> Stop it. Saying Don't things out of that purdy mouth. <laughs> But that's what they See, said. He teases because he's so kind. I, well, you, is it kind? Is the kindness? It's cleverness. You're clever. It's my cleverness. You're clever. The, again, 99th percentile. That's why it didn't work out for me. <laughs> it's probably hard. I think sometimes if you uh, are having a little trouble trusting someone who seems too good to be true. Oh yeah, I get that. You know, so like too attractive or too too intelligent or too much. Yeah. I well, there's that old running theory that you know, like the best looking people are sitting at home alone because no one would ask them out. That's not true. <laughs> just just they a heads say up. That, but that's just not a true. heads up, like they say that, and you're like, well, I'll I'll talk to her. She probably doesn't have. A, everyone else says she has lots of boyfriends, but she probably doesn't have any. No, she has lots. <laughs> she's okay. She's and not, she's not interested. She's not available to even be a friend. Yeah. Oh, don't say things. Sorry. A little too real. A little too clever. 99th percentile. Is that it? So there it is. That's what I, it says. I guess you can be too good looking or too smart. That's why I wear a lot of like novelty tees and things. Tone it trying, down a bit. Trying to tone it down. That's smart. Trying to tone it you down. You don't want to bring too much of your A game. It's too much. You know, people can't handle it. And I don't want to find myself, you know, in the 99th percentile and alone <laughs> all the time. He's got no friends. He's too good looking. Want to know what the riot is doing right now? Follow them on Instagram and Twitter at riot.radiou.com. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Now, Nikki, you know that after the third season, the Grand Tour is over. Yes, I do remember this. Mm -hmm. Because it's good because I haven't even finished the second season. Oh, and that's part of the problem. Oh, that's why that show. What what you just said (laughs) is part of the problem. Dude, I loved the uh, Top Top Gear Gear. so much. I loved it so, so much. And I still go back and watch it more than I've watched the Grand Tour. But, you know, that didn't work out for Top Gear. Then they started the Grand Tour and Amazon bought that show, did a really big push with it. But I don't think it just brought them enough back for what they spent on it and the third and final season has yet to still air but that's it for it okay so where are you at on like the second season what you just lost i think i have three or four left i think i actually watched the finale of that season and i i had jumped ahead Mm -hmm. but i just lost interest yeah yeah well it's hard they would sometimes pick like if there was anybody on the show it was never anyone in our market that we quite cared sure, about. And sure. so if they did interviews, I would usually skip that part anyways. Anything in the studio, I would tend to skip. Well, I would used to get together with friends and watch it, and I would call it a multi-generational gathering. Mm-hmm. But the uh, the content for the Grand Tour got to the point where it was like, yeah, we can't all watch this. <laughs> it, just, just, it was just so boring at some parts. And then uh, others were amazing. Yes. That was so frustrating. It it was very uneven in a lot of ways. Well, the Grand Tour Season 3 is still happening. When does it start? They haven't announced that yet, but they did make a Grand Tour announcement last night. Did you see it? Mm -mm. So the announcement is as follows. Coming to the Xbox and the PlayStation, there's going to be a Grand Tour video game. That Grand Tour game is going to be episodic. So the idea is... Each week, as they release a new episode of the Grand Tour... For the Season 3? For Season 3, you will be able to go in and play, basically, what gets featured in the show. So the cars and locations that show up in the third season of the Grand Tour... Are playable? ...will pop up in that game, and you'll be able to play that way. That's actually an interesting take on the idea. I think it's a fantastic idea, and I'll tell you why. When When we were big into Top Gear, which there was a couple years there that we watched it a whole bunch... Uh, I had Gran Turismo 5, whatever the PlayStation 3 Gran Turismo was. I had that, and I had a racing wheel for the PlayStation 3. And after watching uh, Top Gear, I would Mm -hmm. almost always, at some point, whether the same day or like the next day, I would get that wheel out, and I would do racing, whether it was a few tracks or a few hours. Like, it was just that thing where it was like I would get fired up about the idea of driving a car like that and like, yeah, I'm going to do this for a while. And I would. And then of course, eventually I wouldn't, but <laughs> the idea of them adding that level of interactivity yeah, sounds great very idea. cool to me. Could have done that the first season. Hey. Nope. I'm sorry. That wouldn't have saved it for me. Well, you know, Nikki, 
<laughs> we, we don't know what's going on. Maybe it was they... hard. They tried to just basically make Top Gear, but it wasn't Top Gear. It was called the Grand Tour, and it just wasn't the same. It didn't quite work out. Nah, it didn't, didn't click. Which was too bad, because... Uh, them doing Top Gear was great. Now, what about, have you watched any of the new Top Gear? Because they... It, the the U.S. version? No, no, no. The the British one. The good one. Um, I watched, oh, the Matt LeBlanc one. Yeah. I watched two episodes of it. Oh. But not like the newest, newest one, because they had that Chris guy. Yeah, and that people didn't like. I, I just didn't follow it. I lost it all. I, I lost my love for the entire thing. I'm out. I was out completely. I'm out. But eventually, I think when season three comes out for the Grand Tour, I'll try to go back and finish season two. So, again, we don't know when, but expectation is late November, early December, we'll probably see it. And I like the idea of them adding that kind of interactivity, you know it interests it's me. It's a great idea. I want to try it. There are a lot of reasons to listen to the riot every morning. For example, um, give me a minute. Uh, there's got to be at least one. It's the riot on Radio U. Nikki, setting aside, you know, the complaining. because <laughs> We don't complain. We just don't like something, but we don't complain about it. Are you sure? I don't think we do. Oh, we're complaining. I think there's another word than complaining. I don't know what it is. But Whining? Realistic. Uh, whining. It's not whining. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure about it. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> so setting aside whatever it is that we do that we don't have a word for. Sure. Okay. Uh, Which we're taking suggestions. Are we? Text us. 8772-RADIO-U. <laughs> so it's not, I don't want a negative term. It's not complaining or whining. It's. <laughs> Something else. I just stating. feel like. Yeah, I just don't know what it is. Making declarations. That's a good one. You like that? Yeah. I mean. Proclaiming. Proclaiming. Proclamations. Doesn't that have a ring to it? It's it, it does. A positive one. Sounds like we're about ready to start a country. <laughs> All right. Declarations and proclamations. <laughs> I mean, pretty soon. It's coming, but if right? If you want to use the term complain, then what are we complaining about? Okay, well, my question. Mm-hmm. Real talk is this. You and I, we've talked about it just a tiny little bit on air, but off air, Nikki and I are just yawning and stretching, like, I'm so tired. And it's gone like it's just been pretty much about the last few days. Yeah. So what Tis is the it? season? What? Okay, it's the change what? of the season. What? It's, it's not it the is. change of the season. It's, it's summer. A it's little hot. cooler outside in the morning. It is six or oh my gosh, Nick, our <laughs> news guy. He just came up with the best term I think I've oh, ever. Oh, what's heard. our term? Mean splaining. No, I it's love not mean. that. I've... <laughs> it's mean splaining. <laughs> We're explaining in a mean way. I don't know if I can say who that is, but I have someone in my life that mean splains all the time. <laughs> That's exactly what he does. He mean splains. <gasps> you said too much. <laughs> Obi guys, is shocked. Obi guys, shocked. Guys, I just learned a new word. No, this, my oh this yeah. Is, this is a new one. I I got to get that all the way down in the lexicon. I'm so good you, job, Nick. Me, Nick, good right job. Right here. Come on, Nick. Let's get this guy some kind of... Let's, it's a party up in here. <laughs> mean splaining. <laughs> Woo! So, that being said... Yeah. Um, I feel like, you know, it's it's what, the it's August not, thing that happens to us. It does. It does. You're getting into September. Well, school's starting again, and we're just having a hard time adjusting to yes, our new schedule. Basically. That's, that's what it is. That's it. We ate too many crayons, and now we're just kind of sick to our tummies. Pretty much. We don't know how to do that. We're sad with being gone for the day. <laughs> I don't even... And then you're getting close to September. Okay. And the, the fun of the summer is gone. Okay. All right. Okay. And that's... That's what you think it is. Yeah, I think so. Or, uh, you know, allergies tend to increase at this time. Sure. Yeah. It does. Oh, yeah. It does. Hey, it's real. Shut up. It really is something. It is. We're just explaining it, guys. Not in a mean way. It. We're mean-splaining <laughs> it right now. Okay. Well, I, I'm i with you. Yeah. I am. Like, you see these eyes. Oh, I these do. Those glassy, glassy eyes. eyes. <laughs> I see those. You see it. I do. I just know that I am I must be really tired because I keep thinking in my head, like, gosh, it'd be so nice to go back to bed, wouldn't it? Just really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Just right back in, cover up, and just stay there. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's depressing. But <laughs> Or is it? 
Well, <laughs> is it? Is it? <laughs> is that that feels like a negative word, Nikki? Yeah, yeah, that does, and I should change that. Yeah, don't be so negative. But uh, if anybody else is also going through this, it's normal. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So, all right. I just wanted to know if we knew why. Yeah, because we never do. I feel like we we both have entered a zone, and I can't get out of it. I'm trying. <laughs> We've been can't super busy. Well, yeah, I have. So it's fine though. I like getting up early and being busy until after my bedtime. That's what I'm doing. Let's take all of the most mind-numbing things the riot has ever said and play them again. It's a stupid idea, but I love it. It's the riot on Radio U. I got to tell you, before we talk Batman, it, Nikki was talking about how this might not be the real Batman. <laughs> and Who am I to say? One of my favorite memories that I feel like I'll never let go of, I don't even know who the guy was, but we were standing in Radio U and some guy from some record company, whatever, came by. And I had a picture of me with some stormtroopers at the state fair. Some guy dressed as like, you know, Star Wars stormtroopers came over. They loved Radio U. They were so excited. So I got my picture taken with them and I had that picture. And he comes up and he's like, dude, that is so awesome. Are those real stormtroopers? <laughs> and there was a moment, and just I a just, moment. He looked at me and I looked at him and I was, I just put my hand on his shoulder and I was like, you know, there's no such thing as a <laughs> real stormtrooper if you right? want them to be like so technically i guess yeah they were real <laughs> stormtroopers so when we talk about this batman yeah and nikki says well he's not the real batman nikki i feel like he's as real as any batman as we're gonna is. get yeah that's where i'm at so okay this happened in ontario we don't have a lot of details on it but there's a video making its way around of a policewoman pulling a guy over who is driving a Batmobile. And he's in the full Batman costume. I mean, and this is the, like, 1989, whatever, Michael Keaton Batman Batmobile. Yeah, it's very iconic. If you like Batman, you probably know what it looks like. It's not a tumbler, but it's cool. And the video shows him... He is Batman. Like, he's got the costume and everything. He jumps out, talks to the police officer, and then we see him jump back in through the top of the Batmobile and, I guess, go away. He he didn't get a ticket. It's just weird. Like, was oh, it a setup or... I, like, I can't tell. Like, is this to bring about good police thing with Batman in uh you know in this uh, province <laughs> I have no idea but the the only thing that makes it feel like okay it must be quote unquote real like it's not a staged video mm. is one the camera angles and stuff aren't good enough because like they if it well, had it's been just someone driving by right and so you don't really get to see what happened at the end and the police are in on it so it on some level the police if they're in on it they're like way in on it or otherwise I mean, you know, this well, guy could be undercover, you know, could, could be. be in could be <laughs> actually for the uh, what it might be is there's a, a quite a few people who dress up and do the whole car and everything. And then they go and visit children birthday at hospitals parties. or okay. birthday parties. Like if that's that, you know, the job that the person has, mm-hmm. that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, it totally could be. So it's just know. a weird viral video. It's like, hey, there's Batman getting pulled over, and that, that's all right. That Batman outfit is legit. That, the, like, the car, everything is. Like, that is. <laughs> Maybe she was just making sure it was street legal or something. It totally could be. I don't know if he had a. The thing I can't tell from the photo is like, is there a license? Nope, there, there is. is a license it's plate on, the on back. it. Yeah. yeah, you can see it mounted up there. And I'd be too embarrassed to dress up like that. <laughs> could not do what this person does well of course nikki because you would need to dress up as batwoman true i couldn't be a batman but this is just too much i mean but i feel like you and i together like you could be batwoman and i could be what's batwoman's sidekick don't does she have one don't ask me i don't know anybody know that one you know what nikki who am i i just i i heard that guys if you want to be batman you can be batman thank okay? you i don't like, want to be batman if you, but, but, but you if can, I wanted to, but you can could, be all right. I could very well. You can be. And if, if I wanted it, to drive that car, oh yeah, there we go. I could. You want to drive that car? <laughs> do I? Yeah, you do. <laughs> the only concern I have is like it's probably not very good in the snow. So I mean, well, but you know, we'll get you like the back crawler. Well, then you change your costume, and then you what do you say? The the newer one, the tumbler. Yeah. That oh, that would do great in the snow. Then I think. you move into that. That's your winter car for Batman. 
Yeah, I love that. Or we just get the bat playing or the bat weighing or whatever you want to call it. That sounds great to me. Some have said that if you just keep listening to the riot, you'll learn to love them. Has that really worked for anybody yet? Has anyone tested that? It's the riot on Radio U. Nikki, where are you at on Veronica Mars? Um, you know what? You I, helped keep her alive. <laughs> I did. There was a movie a couple of years ago, and I started part- it. Partook in that crowdfunding source, and I remember when, also a few years ago, it was popular to be able to see what was like the first thing you ever saw on Netflix. Do you remember oh, that? Oh yeah, no, that was not long ago. You could go back, and people found out like, hey, you can go through your history and see what's your earliest memories with Netflix, and mine was. Veronica Mars. It was That's this amazing. TV show. Uh, so I watched it on Netflix uh, when it was out. So you've seen Veronica Mars? Yes, I have. Yeah. Well, word on the street is, is that Veronica Mars happened <laughs> and then there was a movie and now it's going to happen again. This, I kind of feel, came out of just like, like I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> and, what, and what is it with you Veronica Mars people? They keep making things happen. They say that uh, there's going to be a limited run Veronica Mars TV show. TV series on, on Net, or Hulu. Hulu. Sorry. Oh, Hulu was really hurt on that. <laughs> it's all right, Hulu. <laughs> Come you on, win. it's okay. You win in the you end. You got it. And it would have uh, Kristen Bell, who played <laughs> Veronica Mars, it would have her in it. Yeah, she would be back for like an actual show. So, like, what is that show like? 15 years old like that is an old show and that is an old cw show wasn't it the one guy um was it the bad robot guy was he the one who did jj abrams no 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 it was uh because jay here's the here you go rob here's a, wasn't it rob something rob thomas yes was that it what else has that, he done well, i don't know i just see his name in the story here i don't know what else he's done uh I'm scrolling, looking to see. I don't know. No, but around the same time, or maybe earlier than that, J.J. Abrams had a show on, I think it was the CW, called mm-hmm. Felicity. And I know this because, you know, I've seen most of what J.J. Abrams has made. I've gone back and taken a look at it. And uh, when I got to Felicity on his career list, I was like, you know, I don't think I'm going to watch this. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, that's the word, that uh, they're going to have a new one. Uh and she'll. Well, I'll let you go know. back to. You can reactivate your Hulu account, and I'll just log into yours, <laughs> or we can watch together. I wouldn't you know, log in, but I don't yeah, feel like would. that's... You just told everybody. That's not me wanting to get everybody. Hulu just to see that. Uh, you know what? I just had somebody text in whose name I don't know, but they said that. Oh, uh, he did Eye Zombie. He does Eye Zombie, which is another show on the CW. I watched the first three or four episodes of iZombie. I thought it was it was a funny concept. It was yeah. an interesting show. I just eventually... Lost. It's like everything. You can't keep me watching a show. <laughs> I watch a few episodes and I'm done. Which is why do we have to make these shows go on for so long? Just end it and then come up with something new. No, that's not what you but do. But that's just not possible. You end it and then you resurrect it. <laughs> so again, if you're a fan of Veronica Mars, uh, there's supposedly a short run TV show that's coming to Hulu, but they don't have any more details than that. I can't keep up. It's too much. Like, I... You, like, there's just too many shows on too many pay TV services and too whatever. I mean, if I quit this job and watch TV full time, I <laughs> still don't think I can to. keep up. Send your complaints regarding that worst of the riot moment to fire Obadiah at RadioU.com. Okay, Nikki, this yeah. is not tied to a story. This is not tied to whatever. Just theoretical question for you. You've got an option. You can make more money, mm-hmm. but you'll have less time. Yeah. Or you can make less money, but, have but more you're going to have a lot more time. Oh, I don't know. Because then it's the unfortunate thing of everything takes so much money nowadays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you, I feel you would be at least less stressed because you had more money, mm-hmm. but then you'd be more stressed because you were always working. So it'd be a catch. I don't know. So, you you know, there would be things that would become easier. Like, hey, flat tire. Who cares? I'm, yeah, no big lo- I'm deal. loaded. I got money. No big deal. But yet you couldn't have the time to go fix them. <laughs> yeah. So, and it would be stuff like, you know, you couldn't have, like, right, like, let's say for a little less money, you got more free time to watch that movie you wanted to see. Sure. But, you know, you don't really have enough money to really go or, you know, whatever. I guess it's a catch. I'm not prepared to. You can't figure it out. To make a statement on to which one I would prefer. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Well, I was just thinking about it because yeah. I was I was looking at something. And I was like, man, I wish I had the money to do that. And I was like, yeah. And if I had a job where I had the money to do that, I bet I wouldn't have time to do it. So it is it is what it is. I mean, I guess the flip side to it is right now I don't have the time or the money. So hey, hey! that's some it's, realism right uh, there. It didn't occur to me until yeah, I just said it out that's loud. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Uh, Come on. But I was just thinking, like, would I rather have money or time? Mm -hmm. And, you know, people would say, like, of course you would choose time. But if I I had enough money, could I then spend that on making time by way of, like, having an assistant? I don't know. So if I could send some of the stuff out and then I would make my own time Hmm. because I'd have the money to do it. Right. But would you, though? Like, would you really? Because now... You feel your own pressure with it. Oh, it, yeah. It, listen, I want us to all realize we're probably going to be unhappy in some way, shape, or form with no matter what you oh end gosh. up at, like, which level. So you have to become, like, make it a point to, no matter where you're at, still make yourself happy. So Does wait, that make sense? wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that happiness is a choice? It's a choice. So if you have no money, lots of money, free time, no time, we all have something. So we still have to make the choice to be happy. You're either going to have to enjoy it. Yes. Like you, no, you're just going to have you're to enjoy it. You're just going to have to be happy, even if it's not perfect. Okay. All right. Well, That's I, all the wisdom we have to I give today. I wasn't trying to learn a lesson. I was just I wondering. we've just learned a lesson today. <laughs> I, was, I was just try, wondering, like, <laughs> hey, would you rather have money or time? That's still a good question. <laughs> all right. Because, I mean, money for time, is that's the trade we make all the time. True. So, uh, all right. FF5, fire on the highway. That's because Nikki's wisdom just got lit. <laughs> Now I'm speeding away. (laughs) You'd think that after all these years of hearing me make fun of the riot, people would have stopped listening by now. Maybe it's one of those can't stop staring at a train wreck situations. It's the riot on Radio U. Now, we think that the real money is in like, hey, I'm going to create this big thing and I'm going to sell it or I'm going to be an amazing basketball player or I'm going to be whatever it is. Like, that's where my money is going to come from. But real money doesn't come from making and selling things. Real money comes from being the way that people People. make and sell things. True. Because then you don't have to make anything really. Yeah, you have to maintain an infrastructure, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not the same. And that is one of the big things that you're starting to see when it comes to your phone or whatever device it is that you use to interact with the Internet because that device or that software like gets a cut of it. So like, for example, if something's sold on iTunes, Apple gets a cut of it. If something's sold on Steam, they get a cut of it. If something is sold on the Google Play App Store, they get a cut cut. of it. And so even when it comes down to like, let's say that you pick up a free to play game, a lot of times your in-app purchases, a certain percentage of that boom goes right back to wherever you downloaded the app from. And that, my friends, is Is where the money is. (laughs) That's how they're making the big bucks. (laughs) There is money, money, money there. And I did not know this was a thing. But if you download Netflix from the Apple App Store. Yeah. So, okay, let's say you download it and you have already signed up for Netflix. They don't get any money out of that that I know of. That, But... If you download Netflix and subscribe as a new user, as a new user through the app, 30 percent of that goes to Apple of the just the one time. Well, that's the thing thing I can't figure out if it's every month or if it's just the first sign up. But But I think it can't be every month. My gosh, that's a lot. Well, Netflix has just come out and said, hey, we in 33 countries right now, Mm -hmm. they are testing how they can have you go sign up online and then you can go back to the app. So then that's the workaround. Yes. It's the same thing. Again, if you've got any kind of an iOS device, an iPad or an iPhone, you can't buy things on Amazon Mm -hmm. through the the app. app. They will take you to the web where you will buy things. Like Kindle works that way. If you go on to the Kindle app and you're like, hey, I want to buy a book. Nope. Can't. Now, physical book, yes, but like well, yes. Di- you know, digital items, or like with the new Fortnite stuff with Android mm-hmm. or the Google Play Store. You know, you can't. You got to download it from them, not through Google Play, because they don't want to give up on the money for that. Yes, indeed. Well, so, I didn't think about that for Netflix. I I wonder how much that is for even all the other streaming services and their apps. Thirty percent. That's a lot. 
Well, and it looks like it, it must be just the first a transaction. Yeah, but still think about it. You're a company, you have a product that's $10 and somebody gets $3. What? <laughs> but it's a bold move, but I mean, that's how everybody's getting the app. Yeah. But yet Netflix is a huge company now. But whenever they started that, they were just trying to make it, too. Man, I go back and forth on Apple. It's rough because as an as someone that owns an Apple TV, I love the fact that they play hardball with content people because they it dri- they drive the price down on certain items. Like, they, they have forced, like, if you want to buy, in my case, like, 4K movies, they basically said, we will not... We will not charge more than $20 for a movie. So you can list it with us or not, but we're not going to charge more than $20. And that has driven the price down across all these different services, which is great. But then you end up with stuff like this where pretty soon content companies are like, yeah, that's fine. We just won't uh, whatever. <laughs> or no, what's worse is in the content companies like, well, I guess we got to raise our monthly price then. Oh. And that's where we swung back around and we've hurt us. That's on you. <laughs> That's on you. So you're like, why do you need more money? I, well, you, I guess we don't know what they're all spending it on. <sighs> well, you know what, Nikki? That's okay. We chose time. We have more time. What <laughs> time to watch stuff? It's the radio equivalent of going to McDonald's and ordering a fish filet. Hey, that's my, one of my favorite things from Mickey D's. The worst of the riot on Radio U. Nikki, how are you feeling right now? Good. Don't lie to me. I feel feel pretty good. <laughs> See that little hiccup? That was a tell. She's lying. No, I'm just afraid how every you time feel? you yell at me. And you're pointing as well. It's mostly the pointing. What's your current emotional state? Feel great. Good day. Good morning. Making it the choice to have a good day. Are you sure? Yes. I don't believe you. Put this watch on. <laughs> oh, to tell the truth? Yep, that's right. <laughs> Is it right. a lie detector watch? It's not. It's a wristband that they're kickstarting right now on Kickstarter. Dude, uh, if you're lying so much that people need to put one of these on you. <laughs> you know what, Nikki? See, so you jumped to lying because negative. All right. See what happened I'm there? I'm a negative Nikki. Negative Nikki has made an appearance yet <laughs> yeah, again apparently. in the studio. Why Here else she would is. you want to hey, wear this thing? Hey, everybody. Oh, I am not Negative, vote. negative oh Nikki God. is here. I don't that sound. She just pulled in. Put that sound away. Oh, look, she doesn't like the sound. <laughs> Negative oh, Nikki is here and doesn't boat. like the sound either. I guess we. What's I don't want to be the big boat. What makes you think that's a big boat? Well, that's a sound. It's not a small little clipper. <laughs> <laughs> like a really big boat. I don't like that. I think Negative Nikki has a theme song now. Oh, and I hate that. I know. Which, what would Negative Nikki do? Of course you would. She would hate it. <laughs> it's fine. This is why Nikki has... Uh, Therapy today after the show. Yes, so what about the watch? Well, it's a smartwatch that they have that they're saying can track your emotional state. So how do you feel right now, Nikki? Well, I got a lot more emotions than I did two minutes ago. Does it say oppressed? Because I feel oppressed right it would now. start like warning signs like, hey guys, this is not good. Get her out of there. I got to go home right now. <laughs> um, so it, they do. It says it will track your mood. Throughout the day, and it will track 11 different moods that you have. So it will track things. Let's see. There's zen. There's happy, sad. Oh, where did the rest of them go? The Because uh, I had a list, and then I started laughing at <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing at the thing, and I lost my list. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Uh, calm, pleasant, unpleasant, mm. sad, excited, Anxious, strained, confused, challenged, zen. I remember when my mom, uh, when I was younger, she gave me like her ring when she was younger, and it was a mood ring. Mood ring. Yeah, we had this old Wrapped song around your finger on our throwback channel with that. So this, like, our new version of what back in the day was like a mood ring. Yeah, so or like it, mood nail polish, and you've got mood makeup. But it's got a Bluetooth connection to your phone, and you'll be able to track it throughout the day. So you'll be like. Oh, look, for some reason, uh, starting at about 6 a.m., I was very unpleasant. <laughs> and you'll see that it finally uh, ev- evaporated there. That, that is popular, like, if you bullet journal or if you have an app, and then you track your moods to see 
what it's causing you emotionally to do Mm -hmm. or have problems and stuff. Uh Uh, So I guess that could be worth it. But, like, I usually wear my Apple Watch. My thing is I'm out of wrist space. I don't want to. Just put it on the other wrist. I think that might look weird. What you think of? Well, you know, you could bring it back. You know, people wear multiple wrist bands. Yeah. Like you got a Fitbit, an Apple Watch, this mood thing. <laughs> you got all these things. I I just don't have the space on my wrist. You're like, look, I got to track some stuff. Okay, that's what I need. It'd be almost better if it was just an app that worked with your existing device. Yeah. Well, you know what? It well, it does. We just got to add one more thing to one your existing device. One more thing device. to it. So it's gonna work with your iPhone. You just gotta wear this band. I gotcha. What about a smart headband? <laughs> There you go. You're not wearing a headband right now. No, I got space there. It's fine. Oh, man, like that G.I. Joe miniseries where they were being controlled by the headbands. Remember that? Yeah. And then Duke had that little thing. He could slide under it so he could fight against the mind control device. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Remember what we that? were all thinking. You were tracking with Right away. You? I you thought were tracking that too. With it. Yes, I, knew I it. did. I knew you were. I'm sure I did. Okay. Ever wonder what Nikki is doing when she isn't rioting? Find her Twitter feed at riot.radiou.com. Obadiah is there too, but who cares what he's doing? It is. (laughs) (laughs) It's the riot. Uh, So. I didn't realize the mics were on, okay? What, that's our, I was trying to clear out before we started. What's the uh, the thing where you do with the microphones and you eat and you can hear it like left and right and stuff? That's our new feature. Uh, it's Obi's nose. ASMR. <laughs> yeah, you get that. Oh, it sounded nice. Uh, Tom was texting us, Nikki. He wanted to know, wait, didn't Duke die in the G.I. Joe movie? And then Hawk took over. Oh, the the headband reference you made to the G.I. Joe show? Yeah, Nikki, I went ahead and did a little research here for Tom. I'm talking about G.I. Joe, the mass device. Ah. And uh, I see that that is available on DVD for $5. And if anybody like a lot. <laughs> and if anybody wants to come over and watch it with me, guess who already owns it on DVD? You do? Right here. Why? Is it the a movie mass. or a TV show? Uh, it was a TV show, but it was like five episodes. Oh. That you know what else I need to well, get? Well, Tom, Obi's got it if you want to see it. So. I think Tom's actually from my hometown, too. So <laughs> like, uh, then there was also G.I. Joe. Was it Resolute? That was a that was one they did on Cartoon Network. It was just a movie uh, that, you know, we should pick that up, too. Here's five ninety nine. What do you think? Just want to grab it? Or? Well, no, no, because, again, I don't like to jump in on a series. So I'd have to go way back and start G.I. Joe off then. Heads up, Nikki. G.I. Joe, the mass device. Yeah. First animated G.I. Joe. Is it? Yeah. So if you want to come over, it's five episodes. We can just... <laughs> just knock that out real quick. Hang out and watch it. I also picked up, but I haven't watched it yet. You know, the the Rocks G.I. Joe movie? Which one was um, that one? It was the one that had uh, Bruce Willis in it. Okay. I picked up that D- that Blu-ray last year for $3, and I haven't watched it yet. So we could have a whole G.I. Oh, Joe thing. night. Oh, yeah. We just get together and Yay. watch G.I. Joe. I support you. You want to you do it? Yeah. Do we have to do it there? Can we just do it here? You want like a lunch thing? Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to drive <laughs> over to do that. Well, but Tom could come over too. It would be me, you, and Tom. <laughs> and we could all just watch G.I. Joe stuff. Just hang out. Okay. If not, um, yeah, we could just do it here. Yeah, here we go. During now, lunchtime. Now, now we're backing out. No, no, we're not. We're not. We're just uh, making it work because I feel like that's work, too, because it is about the show and it could be here. And then no, I won't make eye contact with you right now. (laughs) We're already here and I I don't have to drive to your house. And not that it's far away because I'm not judging the distance. Just go ahead and say it. Just go ahead and say it, all right? Your house is a little farther away. No, go ahead and say it. <laughs> I don't like G.I. Joe. Just, nope, that's not even it. Uh, what else is there? I don't like it and I don't want to drive. I think I covered all the points. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. No, that's go a ahead maybe. And say it. It's a maybe. If you're good. <laughs> and we all know you won't be. It'd be a great lunchtime team building exercise. It would be. Um, but it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> no big deal. I'm fine. It's good to see that you are. Yeah. (laughs) I still support you, and I will watch it here. No, you won't. During uh, work hours. So So now we have negative Nikki and lying Nikki. (laughs) Nikki trifecta is in play. The riot is the radio equivalent of Taco Bell meat. Radio U. Nikki, when can we talk about my benefits here at the radio station? Yeah, come on. 
let's talk about it. Uh, because I really need some fraternity time. Some fr- fraternity? Mm-hmm. So what is that? Uh, or, I mean, I guess maybe for me we might call it Paulternity. Paulternity? Mm-hmm. So, like, is it is it maternity? No, it, it's Paulternity and fraternity. And so the idea would be, like you know, fraternity? like... Fraternity? Like you, you want to join a fraternity? Not fraternity, fraternity. Fur? Yeah, so like... Oh, like a fur or fur long, that thing? The furlough? Break? Furlough? No. <laughs> no, that's good, too. I'll take one of those. Uh, but no, you know, when you adopt a pet and you need time. Oh, yeah. So they're talking about, like, according to this one particular company, the new hotness in offering benefits to people is to offer them this pet care time, paid time off to take care of their pets and or to adopt a new pet. So is it say if your pet got sick, but you've had your pet for a while, does mm-hmm. it count for that, too? Or is it just at the basic start of it at the adoption of the pet? Well, you know what, Nikki, that's part of what you have to negotiate for uh, with your package of it. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, for example, there's a, a marketing company in Minneapolis. What they offer is it's not complete time off, but you have you can have a week to work from home when you get a new pet. Aww. So you can just hang out with them for a whole week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's cute. So um, you have allergies. That's not going to be in yours. I know, which means that I'm just going to need some allergenity. <laughs> no one's offering that yeah. during the big allergy days. Well, they should. <laughs> They really should. No, you need to get a, a little pet that is hypoallergenic. I don't need a pet. You do. You would love a dog. What, more it's responsibility? so much responsibility and work. Yeah, and, that's what I and need. And cost. That's what I need. Yes, it's great. It's no what way. we do. I would adopt a dog and they'd be like, we're sorry. This is, it's the rarest, most unbelievable <laughs> form of disease we've ever seen. But the thing is, is that it has to be treated because the how we normally would put a pet to sleep, like it doesn't it work on this. So you have so. to incur the whole cost. Yeah. Well, why don't you get a cat? I feel as a cat and dog owner, mm-hmm. sometimes a cat can be easier to take care of. Oh, no. My cat allergy is worse. But That's the one that shuts down my lungs. You could get a hairless cat. Uh, <laughs> you know one of the, 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 one of the ones? Can gnaw my brain out in my sleep. No, they just look different, but it doesn't mean they're bad. No. You know what? I'm going to judge them based on their appearance, okay? Well, then why don't you get... Um, <gasps> what if I got a pig? It could tell when it was looking at me in my face. I bet you have a pig allergy, though. I probably do. Yeah. I have an everything allergy, and I don't want to fish, so I'm good. Anything right. else? You don't want any lizards or anything like that? Mm, no. Okay, then you're not getting extra time off. We've why not? We've tried to why give that... you... No, this right here, like what you're doing you're is... You're yelling. I know. You know why? Because I'm passionate about it. Because what you're doing is, is that you I'm are now you discriminating against me because of a genetic predisposition I was born with, and it's not my fault. No, so I you're have allergies. Offering, this is like smoke breaks. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm going to take 10 minutes an hour to go outside and smoke for fun. I told you, you can go outside and stand outside for a few minutes if you want to. All right. We'll agree to that. I have allergies, and I still have pets. We just make it work. Yeah, well, just because you're making poor choices is not my fault. (laughs) Like, I'm just telling you, I'm tired of being discriminated against in the workplace. Uh, I am writing this down in your folder that you have an official complaint that you're not getting pet time off for the pet you're not adopting. I should just get pet time off, and you guys are not allowed to come and inspect whether or not I have a pet. We can't question it. You can't ask any questions. (laughs) Okay, it's in your folder. I'm closing it now. This was the worst of the riots, and we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. The riot exists because Radio U exists, and Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. If we were going to say something about maturity, we'd need to take all our clothes off first.